All right, guys, there's a couple things I just want to talk to you about. A couple things no one's telling you about. <laughs> so, obviously, we all know that this uh, lock here for the e-brake is not come with the Can-Am Riker. In North America, you have to buy it separately. So, the only place I see that you can find it right now is slingmods.com, but they're actually sold out because everyone else is getting them. So, you definitely want to get yourself one of those. It's not full. So, as easy as they say, you just take the lift this up there's actually going to be a bracket waiting for the lock to be put on um, the bracket is plastic which sucks it is the locks connected to a plastic piece of bracket but hey it is what it is just to deter them from trying to roll my shit away um, another thing the helmet bag no one's telling you about no one's talking about this helmet bag this is actually an awesome helmet bag I think everyone should get one because first of all it doubles as a seat cover so if you do have the comfort seat which is a, a more of a cloth you're going to want to have this so if you park in the rain somewhere you can throw this on and it covers your seat to keep your seat dry so that's a plus actually if you're and i'm going to be upgrading to the comfort seat so i'm glad i have this and another thing it is a locking helmet so when you purchase it it comes with this which you know you put through the d-ring on your uh, helmet and then it actually comes with a bracket the bracket gets installed inside the hole. You install the bracket inside the hole. You slip this through the ring on your uh, helmet, and then you use a D-ring lock, and you lock these together. That's gonna keep your helmet from going anywhere. And, uh, it's only one screw that holds it down through there. You have to go through the bottom to hold it, but uh, actually it's fucking awesome. Tie your helmet down, and you don't gotta worry about it. Alright, and uh, last but not least, so everyone is talking about how when you want to move your Riker without starting it, you can throw it into the middle between the gears, not in forward, not in reverse, you put it in between, and then you can be able to roll with your Riker around. But by me, of course my keys, oh here's my keys, by me we just uh, easily just reading the manual. I found out, so I unlock this here, we unlock this here, I found out, so this is what you want to do, if you want to, so right now, I can't push this Riker right now, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, even out of gear, let's take the gear, take it out of gear, break off, a little easy to push. Right, a little hard to push right there. So now you press the brake, then you pick it off. That's gonna make your Riker a lot easier to push. That's gonna make your Riker a lot easier to push around. It's a little, it's hard when you don't do it like this, but if you do it like this, so what they're telling me to do, what they're telling you to do is, as you get on your Riker, you're gonna push down your brake Push down your brake and hold your brake down, and then you unlock your e-brake. Then it says get off the right side of the bike because the reason they want you to get off the right side is so you can access the brake if your bike starts rolling away from you. But that actually leaves your bike into like a neutral position if you do that. And it's way easier. Or you can see, guys, I'm rolling it on the grass. I'm not having a hard time. So, uh, that's just a quick tip. Yeah. Um, another thing is, like, the Riker Rally. Everyone's like, oh, uh, if you want to do donuts, you're going to get the Riker Rally. You're going to get the Riker Rally, it's going to do donuts. The Riker Rally cannot do do, do donuts. It, I repeat, it cannot do donuts. It's something about, like, you can't, like, just pull your wheel hard left or right and just hit the gas and just burn donuts burn donuts because like uh the stability control still kicks in so you like do a quarter of a turn and it's the power cuts quarter of a turn the power cuts even in rally mode you cannot do a donut you can do like a wide donut like where you're not cutting the wheel all the way and you're basically like just keeping your 
weight centered on the bike when you're trying to go in circles. You're, but if you're in rally mode, you're going to have extra power. It's going to be kicking the back wheel out a little bit. It's going to be doing like a donut look. I do have a uh, DJI Mavic 2. So I am going to be doing uh, some uh, active tracking on this. I'm going to bring it out and uh, do some uh, donuts and show you guys how it is. But uh, definitely, there's just a couple of tricks I want, tips and tricks I want to show you. Remember, pull the brake down, pull off your brake, and, uh, put your put it in gear. You see how my it's not beeping. Throw it in. Alright guys, until next time.